Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be doing some Draw This In Your Style challenges. Draw This In Your Style, or DTIYS challenges, are something that I've seen a lot on Pinterest, but this is my first time trying them. Basically, an artist will post a picture of one of their characters labeled Draw It In Your Style, or Draw This In Your Style, or something to that effect, and then, as you might guess, other people can come and redraw that character in their own style. After scrolling through Pinterest for a few minutes, I found a few Draw This In Your Style challenges that caught my attention, and I redrew them. So thank you so much to the original artists, Baraku, Juliana, and Kelsey Ng for designing these wonderful characters and sharing them. I hope that I'm able to do them justice with my drawings. This first character I'm drawing was designed by Veralku, and I just love this character. She's actually the first one who caught my eye. I love her hairstyle and her freckles. She was so fun to draw, and the color scheme is so bright and summery. I have to say that the orange slice earrings and the freckles were probably my favorite parts. I feel like this character just embodies summer, and it was fun to be able to do freckles because I realized I actually haven't really drawn a whole lot of those. This next character was designed by Julia, and at first I chose this picture because I liked her dress, and I liked that it was a full body shot instead of just from the shoulders up, which a lot of Draw This In Your Style challenges are, but as I was sketching her, I noticed that she has some kind of gash or scar on the left side of her neck. That instantly intrigued me because she also has her hair over her eye on that side, and I assumed that that was just her hairstyle, but maybe there's a reason she's covering that side of her face. Did something happen to her? Is her hair dyed or is it naturally that color? The one eye that's visible is bright purple, so is she even human? I feel like there's a story here and I want to know what it is. This last character was designed by Kelsey Ang. The first thing that really caught my attention with this char character was, well, the, first of all, the fact that she had a uh, turquoise baby tiger sitting on her shoulder, which is really pretty cute, uh, but also her hat. 
I've seen a lot of people draw different types of food or animals or even places like geographic locations as humans, which in my opinion is super fun. I actually like to do that myself. So looking at this character, I, I thought that she might be a personification of boba or a bubble tea. And actually, upon looking back at the original post, I realized that the artist posted that she is a matcha witch. But matcha is green tea, and I usually don't associate that with uh, bubble tea, even though I think they definitely could be combined. Um, so to me, she looks a lot more like a boba witch. Boba is really popular in my area. I don't know about other places, um, but I know I see lots of people drinking it around here. It's basically milk tea with little balls of tapioca in it. And I hear that it's really good, but I've never tried it because my mom read about a girl who got the tapioca pearls stuck in her stomach and now she's paranoid that it will happen to me. I've tried to explain to my mom that you have to drink a whole lot of bubble tea for this to even be a problem, but she won't listen. And that's okay though, <laughs> because I like my non-bubble tea just fine. But I've seen enough bubble tea in my life to recognize what it looks like, and between the drink she's holding and the design on her hat, I think that this character must be at least inspired by it. She's like a boba witch with a blue tiger. I love it. you all enjoyed this. I did my best, but these pictures are uh, definitely not perfect. Um, yeah, a lot of the mistakes that I'm seeing in these drawings seem kind of like amateur mistakes to me, uh, like issues with eyes and hands and proportions that I, I thought I had gotten past, at least to some degree. And I'm not sure if that's because I was rushed while I was drawing these, or if trying to translate someone else's work into my own style actually threw me for a loop. But this challenge was fun, although it was a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much to the original artists, and if you enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see more challenges like this, please let me know in the comment section. Bye!